Once, a man and his wife flipped a coin to decide who had to run to the store for detergent and milk. A man puts in 40 plus at a factory. Midway through his fifth year on the job, he finds himself at the side of a roulette table in Reno, Nevada. His kid has leukemia. And so, in an act of desperation, he pushes his newly acquired second mortgage onto black. The wheel spins, the ball bounces around and comes to a rest. Double zero, house number, no winners. A man perusing junk at a garage sale sees an ugly painting with a frame that he likes. He buys it and takes it home, and under the canvas of the useless painting, he finds an original rough draft of the U.S. Constitution. He sells it for close to $17 million. A non-smoking vegetarian woman is diagnosed with lung cancer. Confident and strong-willed, she lives to the age of 42, three years longer than her most favorable prognosis. Unmarried, she is survived only by her chain-smoking, alcoholic father, who lives to the ripe old age of 95. I used to believe that somewhere on the top of a mountain, a lunatic old man would sit on a patch of dirt, flipping an old silver coin into the air, over and over again deciding the fates of everyone in the universe. But effects have causes, and so many things in life are not simply a matter of chance or blind luck. Some things in life are the result of a willful act, a decision that once made is irreversible. How often in a lifetime does someone ask, why me? Why not me? What is the answer? Perhaps the Buddhists would say, karma. The Christians? God works in mysterious ways. It's hard to live with the things that are not in your control. But what about those things that are in your control? Once, a man and his wife flipped a coin to decide who had to run to the store for detergent and milk. She called tails in the air and it came up heads. She was struck by a drunk driver and never came home. 